Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a Miele dishwasher that doesn't fill with water. The fault register shows F12 and F13 error codes, which are both related to the water inlet. First steps here are disconnect the inlet hose and check that the water tap actually works. Next, have a good look into the disconnected hose and make sure the little inlet filter inside the hose connection isn't clogged. Reconnect, turn on the tap and feel the aqua stop valve while the dishwasher is trying to fill. The valve should vibrate slightly and you should hear a repetitive gargling sound as the machine tries to fill with water. So, why is the machine not filling with water? Well, this is how it works. When the inlet valve opens, water flows through a flow meter into the wash chamber. The flow meter monitors the flow and sends pulses to the control unit. The number of pulses is proportional to the volume of water. When the correct number of pulses has been received, the control unit de-energizes the inlet valve, the flow stops and the wash cycle begins. If the control unit doesn't receive the required amount of pulses from the flow meter, then the inlet valve is de-energized, the drain pump operates, the program is cancelled and F13 is registered. A complete lack of pulses causes the control unit to repeatedly energize and de-energize the inlet valve in an attempt to remove mechanical issues in the water path. If that fails, F12 is registered. The most common cause for this is a faulty flow meter and this is what I'm going to address here. Okay, I turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Next, I remove the left side panel. There are three screws, two at the front, one at the back. There is also a plastic clip that holds the panel in, at the top. Here we have the water diverter and in the middle sits the flow meter. This is a simple paddle wheel with a magnet that rotates past a nearby reed contact. The contact opens and closes as the magnet passes and generates pulses. The reed contact tends to fail over time due to wear and corrosion. Reed contacts are cheap, they come in different lengths and are available at places like eBay or AliExpress. These contacts are easily replaced and require only a basic soldering iron and some basic soldering skills. When replacing the contacts, remember the orientation and be careful with the Y ends as they can easily break the tiny glass tube when they are bent without support. After cleaning up the flux residue with IPA, I connect the wires and place the contact back in its pocket. Ready for a test. The machine fills as expected. It doesn't repeat the uh, filling cycle and it's starting the circulation pump. The problem is solved. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. 